It's the Monday after the Nexus 5 announcement, meaning we woke up to a package on our office doorstep. This is a Nexus 5, not the one we're giving away, even though we are giving away a Nexus 5. This is our review unit. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Let's unbox it. And you heard right, folks, we are giving away a Nexus 5, not this particular unit, but one just like it, a 16 gig white edition. If you want to win a Nexus 5, if you want a chance to win, you should enter the giveaway. We announce the winners Wednesday on the Pocket Now Weekly. Follow us on social media so you don't miss future content from Pocket Now and make sure to enter that giveaway. Let's pop open the uh, shipping packaging here to discover the retail box, which is in brilliant, brilliant blue. We saw leaked images of the uh, of the retail packaging along with the other, the rest of the avalanche of leaks surrounding the Nexus 5. And now with the tape cut, I should mention this packaging is very, very minimal, as you can tell. Got barcodes on the bottom, which we will keep obscured. And let's just lift it up here and see a device greeting us front and center in the traditional orientation here. Let's see if we can get a slightly tighter shot with a Nexus branded screen protector on there. We'll take the phone out of the packaging and put it aside just for a moment, making sure that we got the right color. We did indeed. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Okay, let's put it aside for a second, just see what's in the box, what Google gives us when we invest in the $349 unit. Uh, if you buy it in the States, if you buy it elsewhere, it can of course get more expensive. A little flap here. Here we have a suggested procedure for SIM installation and a SIM removal tool right in the center there. Instructions on how to power on the unit in different languages. And of course, our safety and warranty guide. A micro USB cable, like any other, it would seem. And an LG power adapter for the wall socket. Nothing else going on. No headphones, no chamois, nothing fancy probably to keep costs down. And here we have the device itself. All protectors still installed. A pretty tricky device to film because uh, this particular model, the, the back side is all white. The front side, all black, but the protectors are still in place. We're gonna move our microphone and we're gonna pop off that screen protector for the first time. As we pull off the other sort of protective elements here, keeping the plastic on the sides pristine, uh, I will mention that this device is somewhat cold to the touch, having sat on the porch for a bit, but uh, we like that because it's not cold and clammy in that glossy kind of way that some uh, cheaper feeling plastic can be. This white polycarb this polycarbonate on the white version here, let's take off that camera lens protector, is uh, smooth, reminds us of the HTC One X to a degree, uh, the pre several generations old, HTC flagship, but uh, really, really good feeling there. Really kind of, it's not quite tacky. It's not quite soft touch. I imagine the black version might feel a little bit different as it did on the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, not really sure about that, but really, really does feel nice in the hand. The power button is right where it belongs. We're gonna take it over here, but just before we power it on, we'll show you that the earpiece hole in our black unit is white. So you have a nice little visual guide point for where to put your ear when you do wanna talk on this phone. We'll run a slightly different lighting condition here. We're gonna power on the unit. Just showing you what it looks like off the green grid a little bit. There's our predicted Google splash screen. I'll show you what the back cover looks like as this device boots up once again. The 16 gig model. That camera is eight megapixels with optical image stabilization. Snapdragon 800 powering everything under the hood. Two gigs of RAM. This uh, display, a five inch 1080p panel. This device does, in fact, resemble the G2, the LG G2, its uh, spiritual sibling on the spec sheet. Not so much in real life. This hardware is considerably different. And as usual, we are prompted to enter our information in order to start making the Nexus 5 our own, which we will start doing very, very shortly. Keep in mind, folks, we do have one of these up for giveaway. As I keep reminding everyone, stay tuned to the Pocket Now Weekly podcast on Wednesday uh, for the winner announcement and enter if you are not already entered. And please, folks, we like to uh, keep the venue open for communication. So if there's something specific you would like to see, Drop us a comment down below. We will be spending a lot of time with the Nexus 5 from Google. 
And those giveaway details, which have already been posted, will appear in the same spot as the comparisons and the eventual review of the Nexus 5, pocketnow.com. Visit us there. Toss us a like if you enjoyed this unboxing. In the meantime, leave a comment down below if you want us to cover something specific in the review. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to get to work. This has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. We'll see you soon.